Okay, today we will see how to get a HID device work with Unreal Engine 4. So the device that I'm going to use today is the Logitech Attack 3 joystick. This is a very old joystick. As you can see, it was released in 2005. And by default, Unreal will not recognize it. So we had to make it work with Unreal. So to do that, uh, what we'll do is there is a plugin which is available in Unreal. Uh, you can see the joystick over here. This is the joystick that I have. Uh, for this joystick, I'm going to connect my device first of all. So if I were to go to settings, let me open device manager and if you go to HID devices, uh, there are a lot of HID devices on my system, uh, but this device is not showing up and it will show up as a HID compliant game controller. So just look over here and I'm going to connect it to my USB port and the moment I do that, you'll see that the HID compliant game controller is available. So what are we interested in this is the properties and if I go to details, I want to see the hardware ID and this is the hardware ID, any of these. So you see the 046D uh, and the vendor ID is 046D and this is uh, product ID is C214. Okay, so these are the properties that we are interested in. I'm going to close it and we'll come to this in a moment. So uh, to get that, I, so we have to have Unreal recognize that hardware device. So go over here to plugins and look for raw input, Windows raw input, enable it. Okay, and we'll restart. So what the raw ID does is it, it is going to directly talk to Unreal Engine and it shows up some more devices in your uh, in Unreal which we can call to. So now that we have raw ID, we just check whether it is there. So it is enabled. So once that is enabled, go over to project settings and in project settings now you should see another entry here called raw input okay. and you will see that there are device configurations over here. So what we will do is we will add that device and raw uh, uh, input gives you quite some uh, events here so if i come here you see that i have added one array element and there is the vendor id and product id that it was asking you will see that it gives you eight access properties which you can configure and you can have uh, quite a few 19 20 button properties that you can configure so uh, we'll put in the vendor id and the product id so come over here properties and hardware ID, so it is 046D. Okay, so you have to put it as 0X046D, and the other thing was where did the window go? C214. So, 0x, c Okay, so this will uh, register that device. And now we can come over here and we'll see that we have the USB controller access. Um, we'll keep it right now as it is. <coughs> we'll have to make a change here and I will have to say that game, it has to be a gamepad stick. I'll, I'll turn it off uh, right now and then we'll, I'll show you how to make changes and here we have button properties where if I go here 
we have generic USB controller button one. So generic USB controller access one and generic USB control button one and so on. So if I go down here, this is button two and so on. Okay. Now this particular joystick of mine here has quite a few buttons. So this there is a little uh, sort of a throttle yeah, which is going to be my USB controller access one, which is what I had checked. And then we have the button, the trigger button, which is under this, under this. This is going to be my controller button. This is the button two. Okay, so I'll map one something to button two. Okay, so now that we have this setup, we can close this. We'll come. We'll have to come back to this. So uh, let's be there. Let us map it. So let's go, and we'll use a level blueprint just to make our life a bit simple. So here, if you have done everything correctly, and if you go to input, you should be seeing generic USB controller events. This is what raw input has added. And if you expand this, you'll see that the generic USB controller access and button one and everything that we just saw is available. So let's have a generic USB controller access here, as well as uh, let's do that generic USB controller button. So input generic USB controller and I'll choose button two because it's easy to see here rather than this button which is hidden. So I'll use generic USB button two. Okay. Now you see what's happening with the controller access is I actually don't need a pressed and release. I don't want it as an event. I want the amount of uh, throttle that I am going to push okay how much I'm going to push this or you know just for simplicity I'm going to choose uh, generic USB and uh, let me choose generic USB access 3 which is the movement this way Okay. Now, I want the amount of angle here, right? I don't want a event here. So to do this, this is what it was showing. To fix this, I am going to come to edit project settings, go to the, go to uh, raw input again. And here for two, okay, I am going to say gamepad stick. Same thing I'll do with uh, one also so that you can see the difference. Okay. So when you do that, when you say that, hey, this is a gamepad stick, then what happens is now if I were to see, this is what had happened earlier. So now that you have done it, uh, what you have to do is if you come here and if you do a generic USB access, say one, for example, it's still going to get this weird thing over here okay I, I don't want this I want the amount of angle that is this being moving so uh, we have to go to edit project settings and let's go to input and here we'll define that action mapping so let's go to access mappings come here and we'll say throttle which is going to be my first access. So uh, let's go to generic USB controller and say controller access one. And you see it shows up as scale and I will add one more, which will be left, right. And this is going to be access three. I know it is access three and not access two. Access two is actually the forward and backward and access three is left and right. So I have tested this before and this is what we have over here okay now that you have done this now if I come over here and I say left right you can see axis event so now I'm going to get a axis value this is what I want so let us do it for throttle also okay so now we have this axis value Let's check this whether everything is working or not. So 
I am going to just get a print string and we'll just input this to print string. It's doing its auto conversion and compile and let's check it now. So if I play this, we have connected it to throttle, which means this button over here. So play. And you can see it says zero so when i click it's showing some value at so minus one which is the highest to plus one i can get those values from okay so same thing let's do with this i'll just disconnect this thing and i am going to connect this over here left and right compile and let me play and you can see there is some zero errors if I move it here it's minus one and I move it to the right it is one so I have my joystick and this is how you get uh, input let's take the button two and let me play say a sound 2d okay let's take some sound shall i take the explosion it's a little uh, big loud sound and let me do a print step. and i'll say that this is button 2 compile and play so this is working and if i press button 2 get the sound uh, i'll just disconnect this for a moment so you can see that text event and you can see that button 2 and this is how you get raw input configured with Unreal. I hope you found this useful and thank you.